Hey home, my name is Joe, and today I am back with another tag video. I know, I know what you're thinking, Joanna or Joe. Enough with the tag videos, but you know what? Tags are freaking fun, okay? <laughs> because they definitely they get you get to know the type of booktuber that somebody is, or the type of YouTuber that somebody is, with the tag video. So I actually saw Kit's World do this. I think that's his name. Is that his name? Uh, yeah, so Kit's World did this tag originally, and it just looked like so much fun, so I figured that, you know, hey, I'll go ahead and do it. Um, Uh, anybody who I tag to do this one, I will leave in my description below. Uh, so you want to check that out to see if you're tagged. But anyway, there are 14 questions to this. So before this video gets extremely long, let's dive in. So question number one, what is the longest time that you can comfortably go without picking up, picking up a book? Um, well... If we're being honest, the longest amount of time that I've gone without picking up a book and I really didn't care was six months. And I I think at that point I was just, yeah, I have my books. I'm not really interested in reading. I just, you know, if somebody wants to ask me about a book, okay, yeah, I'll talk about it. But it was, that was also before I started my YouTube channel and... I honestly, I want to read more and more and more now. Like, now that I've been exposed to the booktube community and all the books that are out there, all the stories that I've been missing, I want more. So, it was definitely the last time I did it was like six months, but now I feel like I could probably go like maybe like a month, two months. But that's also because if I get caught myself in my own reading slump type of deal. But... I'd say about one to two months I can go comfortably and then I start to be like, well, okay, I need to read because I have this goal set for myself. You know, I want to educate myself and you know, you get it. Number two, how many books do you carry on your person at all times? So that is equivalent of ebooks and physical books. I honestly always have a physical book on me. I usually try to carry... Uh, whatever book I'm currently reading, I try to carry that with me at all times. I have it in my bag. Uh, a lot of the time I have Audible on my phone, this lovely thing. Uh, so I usually have like five or six books on that. And I also try to carry my Kindle around. So I usually have about five or six books on that. So I carry about 12 books with me at once. Do you keep every book that you receive or buy? Or are you happy to pass it along so you can receive more? That's a touchy subject. Uh, I'm one of those that once I have a book, I usually hold on to it forever. Uh, but book two is making me do it, guys. I will end up having a unhaul coming. Um, it'll be some of the books that I just I've gathered, but I just have no interest in. My husband has no interest in them, so there's no reason for me to keep them. But I always try to hold on to a book, but I think at this point I'm going to have to start letting go because there's a lot of books that I have that are completely unread and I have no interest in them whatsoever. So if Edward doesn't have interest in them, then they're going away. How long would you spend in a bookshop on one visit? So I usually try to do a lot of our local bookstores. Uh, it really depends on which bookstore I go into. Like, we have this, like, cute little bookstore. It's kind of like what we call in our downtown area. I say downtown. It's not, not really in quotations, but it's near the downtown area in the next town over. And I could spend hours upon hours in that little bookstore. He has every book unimaginable in there. And I'm pretty sure he has books that are completely out of print now. And I'm pretty sure he's got... He's even got books signed by Stephen King. Like, oh my god, like this little bookstore, he's got a prop from one of Stephen King's movies. 
and it's also signed by Stephen King. Like, this little bookshop is the coolest little thing ever, and I could spend hours in there just looking at all the books and just admiring all of just the shelves. Like, his little bookshop is, like, seriously, like, the size of my house. Maybe even a little bit smaller. Maybe, like, the size of maybe this room and my living room put together, which is not very big. But he is... Like, the bookshop is amazing. The other little bookshop that we have kind of sells books, movies, DVDs, TV shows, you know, video games, music, and I could spend hours in there. Like, they have one kind of small section to, for books. Uh, not, it's, I can't say it's small. Like, the section for the books is pretty big. Like, it, one half of the story is the books. The other half is like entertainment purposes. Uh, so they have pretty much every book imaginable as well. And the other bookstore we have, which is Books a Million, I could spend hours in there. There's so many books in there. And I'm pretty sure, so a lot of the time, if I can't find the book that I'm looking for at my little two small bookstores that I go to, I usually go to Books a Million to try to find the book. And if I can't find it there, I usually order online from Barnes and Noble or Amazon. But either way, I could spend hours in a bookstore just looking at all the books, reading all the synopsis on the books, and just trying to find a new book that just sounds entertaining to me. Which, which someday, if I but when I buy it, I will pick it up someday. I that was a really long-winded answer, but yeah, it is what it is. Number five: How much time per day do you actually spend reading? My time per day spent reading is probably about two to three hours. Now that's not consecutive. That is usually broken up uh, between times. So in the morning I read for about 30 minutes. In you know late morning I'll pick up another, pick it up again, read for another 30 minutes. In the afternoon I will pick it up, read for about 30 minutes. It, it's usually sporadic and it's throughout the whole entire day. So 30 minutes, about three hours per day. 30 minutes in between every time I get a chance to read. When I upload this footage even, I'll be reading. Where does the task picking up a book come in on your daily to-do list? And I think I just answered that in the last question. I usually try to like write on my to-do list for the day, read 100 pages or read X amount of pages in the day. So I usually definitely try to read throughout the day and to sporadically read 100 pages or if I read more than 100 pages hey great but it, it just I do just write like 100 pages 200 pages how many pages I want to read throughout the day and I usually what I'll do is at every 100 page mark as I'm reading the book I will mark every 100 pages that way so I know I accomplished that for the day number seven how many books do you reckon you own in total which is including ebooks Do I have to give you a, a physical count? Uh, well, I will count my books and I will put the number right here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to give you guys a count later on that one. So that number will be right here for you because I want an actual approximate number because that's how my brain works. Number eight, approximately how often does books come up in a conversation? It really depends. Like, a lot of the time when I have customers at work will buy a book, and, you know, depending on what it is, I'll, like, you know, I'll mention, like, you know, hey, like, if you like mysteries, you know, you might like this. Or, uh, I don't really talk about books with anybody else really uh, just because I have a lot of friends who just don't read uh, the only people that I can really talk to about books are my brother and my sister-in-law and otherwise than that I you guys are the really only people I talk to about books so books coming up in a conversation usually doesn't happen number nine what is the biggest book that you've ever read 
Um, that's a good question. I have to take a look at my shelf here for a moment. Well, I honestly don't know. Like, the only book that I can really think of as the biggest I've ever read is Ink Death by Cornelia Funk. I feel horrible because it's like not very big. Ink Death only has 633 pages. So, I'm going to say at this point, this is the biggest book I've read. Is there a book that you had to get your hands on against all odds and you did some serious digging to get it? There's a couple, actually, and honestly, the book that I had to do some serious digging on was Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Gralden. I hunted high and low. I hunted on in my two local bookstores. I went to Books A Million. I even searched Amazon. They could not, they didn't have the hardcover edition. So I had to go to Barnes and Noble online in order to find it. But I hunted for quite a while for this one. Cause you know, I like my books in hardcover. Number 11, is a, there a book that you struggled to finish because you refused to DNF it? Yeah, I can think of it. The book that I refused to DNF was In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. The reason I refused to DNF this because this was my sister-in-law's favorite author and favorite book, one of her favorite books of all time, but unfortunately I absolutely hated it. If you want more information on this, I will leave a link below or tag it up here, probably both, uh, to a video where I talked about this book. Number 12, what are three of your main goals or book goals for 2021? Uh, so my first goal is to read at least 60 books. My second goal is to DNF books if I need to. And if I have to DNF a book, then just do it because last year when I DNF books, it changed my life. It definitely opened up. A lot for me and I feel like DNFing is okay if you don't like a book then don't finish it don't read it editing Joanna here uh, so my furnace was going in this video pretty heavily I noticed it when I was editing with some headphones so yeah it was a very, 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 very cold day when I recorded this video, so please forgive that. Um, otherwise than that, we're going to go ahead and jump back into this video, but I wanted to explain that, and I'm very, very sorry. I know it's really annoying, but it happens. Back to your video. You shouldn't have to force your way through a book. So, yes. DNFing. And third... I would definitely just like to find the time to read. Make sure I make reading a number one top priority on my to-do list every day because reading is important to me. So yes, those are all three. Number 13, have you ever turned somebody into a reader? Well I can't really say I've turned somebody into a reader, uh, but I can definitely say that uh, there was one book that, which I don't own anymore, I don't remember the author or the title, but there's one book that I had a friend who really wanted to read it and I ended up giving it to her and she read it and she's like, oh my god that book was so good, is there a sequel? And, you know, we told her about the sequel, and she just read the whole entire series within, like, a month. So, as far as uh, converting somebody to a reader, I don't know. Maybe she was already a reader, but I don't think I've ever converted somebody to a reader. But, I don't know. And the last question is, describe what books mean to you in five words. Um, re 
reading is fun and educational. Five words. Anyway, so if you made it this far in this video, I appreciate you for watching. I hope you guys check out all my links down below. And of course, as every book that I always mention in any video will be listed down below, so you can go ahead and check it out. I will also leave a list of all the questions down below as well. And I'm hoping I can find the original creator of this tag. But anyway, it was Kit's World who did this tag originally. I highly recommend you guys go check him out because he's pretty cool. And I hope you guys hit subscribe so you can never miss any random content by me because I post on Tuesdays and Fridays of every week or try to every week and sometimes in between so you don't want to miss any videos. So anybody I tag in this will be also listed down below and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!